not only is it a big night for the Ravens, but it's also a big night for our city too. Thursday night football gets eyeballs from all over the country. We're the only game in town. WMER 2 News Elizabeth Worthington found some people who have a lot of pride for their team and the city. Yeah, Jamie and Kelly, they are ready to show off that prize tonight in a big way. We are doing some tailgating crashing tonight, and the one we're at right now is a ticketed event. They sold about 750 tickets, and they're pulling out all the stops for Thursday Night Football. We've got a live band back there. We have some people on stilts. I'm going to give this guy a high five. Let's see if I can reach him. Nice! <laughs> I was afraid I was going to knock him over. All right, we got someone else on stilts over there. Of course, there's plenty of food, plenty of drinks. There's a bar back there that they actually built themselves, this group that hosts these tailgates for all the home games. There's a golf simulator over there. There's ax throwing. There's no shortage of things to do and see at this tailgate. We talked to the person who runs this tailgate. He does it for every home game. He is the owner of Be More Around Town. We talked to him earlier today about what he wants to see tonight, aside from a Ravens W. We, we designed the neon here. Um, you know, I want to... One of Ray Lewis's biggest slogans, Baltimore, what time is it? Brian Snyder is used to having fans from opposing teams come up to him and say, man, we don't have anything like this in our city. He's the owner of Be More Around Town, a social events company that hosts Ravens tailgates every home game and organizes fan travel for away games. Tonight, with Baltimore on a national stage, he's looking forward to showing everyone what we've got. They're going to see... Um, excitement, they're going to hear a lot of noise from the fan base. Here at home, there will definitely be a lot of noise, hopefully more cheers than groans, at bars like Mother's and Wayward in Federal Hill. Once we open the patio, it always brings people, because you walk past, you see everyone having fun, you go outside, we have the back bar open too. We're hoping that we're going to be packed out before the game and after the game, because we know the Ravens are going to win tonight, so it's going to be perfect. Staff at both spots aren't just rooting for the Ravens, they're rooting for the city as a whole as football fans all over the country tune in to Thursday Night Football. I would love for the city to get a win because I feel like at times Baltimore gets a bad reputation, but i have a transplant and I've lived here for seven years and I love this city. I think it's awesome. It's great for the city. People love it, man. People love the Ravens. And even for viewers with no stake in the game, fans we talk to think this is going to be a good matchup to witness. I think so many people have watched those Thursday Night games. They haven't been very exciting. And uh, I, think, I think from a fan perspective, outside of Baltimore or Cincinnati. I think there's a lot of excitement around the fact of seeing Joe Burrow versus Lamar. So we asked everyone what their score predictions are. And of course, everyone had the Ravens winning. You got to root for your team. But everyone did agree that this is going to be a pretty close game. Takeoff is at 8.15. And if you're heading to any of those bars in Federal Hill or downtown, get there now, actually, because they're going to start filling up for a team soon. Reporting live in Baltimore tonight, Elizabeth Worthington, WMAR 2 News.